Hey everybody, um, I am back to this binder tag journal, I guess you would call it, that I've been working on. Um, so far we've made the inside flip cover and this little tag pocket and the notebook page and our back cover tag pocket with a bunch of fun little tags. Um, so today I want to show how I just did this fun little thing. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the finished one and then I'm going to make one to go up right above it just because I think that'd be fun to have too. Um, so this is a tiny brown paper bag. I believe I got it at Hobby Lobby but I'm not 100%. Um, anyway, it's just a small brown paper bag and if you don't have that you can make it with paper. Um, and then I, on this side, I just glued a little journaling spot and I can put the link for that below. I just made these just to go because of this journal. It doesn't have to go in this journal because they're neutral designs. Like this is a, a separate piece right here. Um, so they're neutral designs, but they're just made to put on pockets or tags or whatever, things that you need to have a little extra journaling spot. So they're all different sizes and different shades of neutral. Um, and then back here, again, using actual real ledger paper from my friend Mary, I made this little pocket and just put a little of the paper from the kit that I used for this one right above it. And then I stuffed a couple of little journaling tags in there, just some fun little whatever I had. And then right here, this is a just some coffee dyed paper to journal on. And I put that inside the bag, but I would just leave it out just a hair so people can know that it's there to journal on. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one right now with you. And I have kind of everything prepped and ready so you don't have to sit here and wait too long. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue down. This is the paper that's just gonna kind of hide the brown paper bag. And, and then the little pocket's gonna go on top of that down below. So I'm trying to make sure I get these edges. And that's just gonna go right here. And now for my little pocket, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down with my Fabri-Tac glue, just because it is, I did back my ledger paper with um, a file folder, just to give it a little more stability. And I know my glue wants to work for me. It's coming. There we go. Um, so again, just the three sides so it'll form the pocket. And then I'm gonna show you how I did the holes. Now I thought it would be fun to switch it up and have the pocket on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that because, you know, what do we do this for if not to experiment and try some new things, right? All right. So, how that's gonna work in this journal is it will go this way instead of this way again, because I don't want the two pockets like this. I wanted the journaling spot on top on one side and the pocket on the other. But I also wanted it down here because um, I don't want my tags out of the top of the other side sticking clear out of my journal. It's okay if they're sticking out a little bit, that's fun. But I didn't want it a whole bunch. So you can see I made the little black dots to line up. And what I did to make sure I got it right is I just grabbed a page from the journal and lined it up with where how far I wanted it so I could line up those edges to make sure I'm getting it the correct distance from the edge. So... And then I made little dots in the center. All right, so here's my happy little crocodile. Hope I'm in frame there. And I'm just going to put that hole in the center and go for it. One, two, oh, 
get that in the center. There we go. All right, and then let's see. So that will be like this. So the trick here is make sure you get your opening on the right side because I would be sad if your opening was on this side. That wouldn't work. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna go in here. So I'm gonna put these three little rivets right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clamp each of those down with my happy little crocodile. I sound like the Bob Ross of junk journaling. Happy little crocodile. <laughs> All right, okay. So that part's done, and you'll see it went through on this side, and it's okay, it's fun if it's like this, right? Nobody cares, it's just fun. Um, so now on this side, I'm going to put my journaling spot. Let me sneak that out of the way again. All right, so I will glue this down. I mean, you could leave a side open and make even another pocket, but I mean, Maybe there could be too many pockets. I don't know. <laughs> That's up for debate, right? <laughs> but just however you want it to go, I guess, is the secret. And I'm just centering that on there. And then I just included one of these little extras just to add a little bit of what this journal is about onto my little journal spot. So I'll just stick it, I'm gonna stick it up high on this one. And I'm gonna stick it over here because that's gonna probably be harder to write on the inside. So I'll stick it over on this corner, just like that. It'll be fun. All right. Now that's ready to put into the book. So, I'm just going to pop the binder open, make sure I'm in frame here, and that will go right in there. It fits perfect. And um, the one thing you will have to watch for is these will get kind of caught up on each other, but that's okay. I don't think that'll be that big of a deal. Um, and then last thing I would do is grab a fun little scrap of coffee paper or whatever I have and go ahead and put that in the little paper bag for some more journaling. And then over here, I will just add, I didn't wanna put like super tall ones. Let's see if this is too tall. Cause I just didn't want it. Oh, that's not, that's, that'll be perfect. I just didn't want it hanging clear out of the journal like up here, but that'll be perfect. So I can do that. Um, let's see what else do I have. I have these fun little Tags. Oh, I need to punch that circle out. That'll let me. Where's my small hole? There we go. Just makes it look a little more authentic, right? So we have that. We have that. We could throw this in there. Just get a variety. Some fun little. I have this little extra piece of. Um ledger paper so I could just put that in for another journal spot just whatever you have fill that pocket up and then you have these two fun little pockets these little flip pockets with some great journaling spaces and that'll be really fun when we get these pages all embellished over here and just have these little extras right there in the middle so I'm super excited for that I'll keep working on this journal and showing you whatever crazy little idea I come up with next and we'll get her done. Hey, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you're all doing awesome. We will talk to you again soon. Bye.